Heard anything about the disappearances in town? No. Happen to remember anything? Now, there are many that consider this to be our being. When we talk about playing our table. But what about, I walk up and ask the barkeep if he knows anything about the disappearances in town. Offer him money if he can tell me anything, or if he can talk to me later if he remembers anything. It's our peen. Talk about it. So, which is it? Do we need to dive into our acting career, find our inner motivation to play our character, taking on their mannerisms and voice, turn into our own little Mercer? Or is it enough for us to just explain our actions and guide our character through the story in the world? So I'm sure we have all met that person that insists one way or the other, or the extreme thereof. As a GM, I try not to enforce my players to do either. I allow them to take it to whatever extent they want. Most of the time, within reason. Now, there are some things that I just don't explore at my tables. I let each people explore character in the world to their own extent. I have tables where they don't feel comfortable talking as their player, so most everything is third person, whether it's NPC interactions or haggling for prices at a store. In fact, I have some players that most of the time don't want to do any of the mundane life RP stuff at all. No emotional bath sessions, no drinking at the local gambling inn about some lost love or the death of a party member. Nope. Now, sometimes this can't be helped, depending on your story. But I've had some players that have loved doing just that. I have gotten lost in a game, spending a night of gambling and drinking games, only to spend the last moments of a playing session at the local shop their next morning or spending most of the day shopping. But what is RPing really? Well, get ready to leave your retort in the comment section below. But they're both RPing. As long as you and I are talking about decisions and actions that are involved in the game that we are playing, and like my tables, I don't think it's better or worse depending what you want to do. Everyone will have their preference. And maybe we should let everyone play their own way. I mean, I certainly dragged my party along with my outbursts at the last game that I played in and hammed up this RP chance that I had where my mind and attitude was being controlled and just made it a big deal. But no one else had to follow along with that if they didn't want to. It's all on them and everyone was fine. Small hint. If you find a powerful magical artifact at low levels, don't touch it. But unless your DM is just narrating your actual life, everything we're doing is RPing. None of us actually cast arcane arts. We don't rick chaos from the weave and make spells. We don't walk around in full plate carrying a six-foot sword slaying dragons or goblins or whatever. There's... No one walking around calling divine judgment from the heavens and smiting someone to dust. Really. So, yeah, it's all role-playing. So, next time you're at their table, let the voice actor have at it. The drama kid, his loot, the quiet guy, he can shine. Play however you want to play. Maybe let's not get carried away. If you like this video, check out my others. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any tips or requests, drop them in the comments below. And until next time, may your crits be epic, your adventures legendary, and your gaming table filled with laughter. <laughs>